Harry Treadaway, Sophie Wu, Danton Idris, Eric Wehrlein, Roman Mitra, Henry Cavill, and Ben Mendelsohn amongst others. 48, 49, 50, Development. Background. Cloud Imperium Games logo Star Citizen is under development by Cloud Imperium Games, a studio founded by Chris Roberts, Sandy Roberts, and Autwin Freyamuk in 2012.51, while working at Origin Systems from 1990 to 1996, Roberts became known for his groundbreaking Wing Commander franchise. 52, after the completion of Stalinzer in 1999 by Robert's studio Digital Anvil, lengthy delays in the production of extensive plans for the game three months led to the company's acquisition by Microsoft and Robert's. Exit from the project. Completed under a new lead and numerous staff replacements, the finished game was well received but criticized it for lacking the extensive features Roberts had planned. 53, 54, Roberts has since claimed that Star Citizen is a spiritual successor to both Wing Commander and Freelancer. 55, pre-production of Star Citizen began in 2010. 56, with production starting in 2011 using CryEngine 3. 57, 58, Several contractors and outsourced development companies such as CG Bot, Aramori, Void Alpha and Behavior. Interactive were hired to build an early prototype of the game and concept art. The goal of prototype was to gain outside investment, but following the success for the Double Fine Adventure Kickstarter campaign, Roberts decided to crowdfund the game instead. After hiring Autwin Freya Muck Ben Lesnick, and David Swofford, Cloud Imperium Games was formed with the intention of building the initial campaign. 59, 60, Star Citizen was officially announced at GDC on the 10th of October, 2012, during which website they had built for the campaign crash. 61, following the GDC presentation, the company announced a Kickstarter campaign on the 18th of October. 2012.3 Kickstarter and early releases. In its initial debut on Kickstarter, Star Citizen was marketed as everything that made Wing Commander and Privateer forward slash freelancer special. The proposed game was claimed to include a single player story driven mode called Squadron 42 that would include drop in forward slash drop out co op. A company hosted Persistent Universe Mode, a self-hosted, mod-friendly multiplayer mode, no subscriptions, and no pay-to-win mechanics. The initial estimated target release date was stated to be November, 2014, with all proposed features available at launch. Additional promised features included virtual reality support, flight stick support, and a focus on INPC hardware. 3. While the initial release would be targeted for Microsoft Windows, Roberts stated top Linux support was a goal for the project after its official release. 62. As development continued, Chris Roberts announced in August 2013 that they would be releasing the Hangar module, a way for players to explore an enclosed space and some of the ships that have been completed. The module was released six days later, on the 29th of August, and was considered the first deliverable of the project. 63, 64. This would mark the beginning of Star Citizen's modular development process, where smaller pieces of the game would be released leading up to the release of the Persistent Universe. 65. During this early period, it was announced that the games would utilize the artificial intelligence system Kydra. Developed by Moon Collider. 66. The game is produced in a distributed development process by Cloud Imperium Games and Foundry 42 with studios in Austin, Frankfurt, Santa Monica, Wilmslow and Derby. 67, 68, 34, 69. Additional partners that are or have been working on the project include Turbulent, Virtuos, Wyamuth. 70, 71, Arena Commander. Arena 
Commander, the Flight Combat Module was released on the 4th of June, 2014. It allows players to test the ship combat and racing portion of the game against other players or AI opponents in various game types. 72. These game types were released to all players as single player offerings, with a small number of players receiving access to the multiplayer version with plans to scale until the module was considered fully released. 7. 11. On the 11th of August, 2014. Arena Commander was updated to open access to all players and added the captured core game type. 9. The module continued to get updates through 2014, with the addition of the racing mode and other fixes in September. 8. By December, Arena Commander had reached version 1.0 and was considered a significant milestone for the project. 73. Star Marine. Star Marine was considered the FPS module for Star Citizen. The module was announced at PAX Australia 2014 with a projected release date in 2015. 74. The development of Star Marine was contracted up to the Colorado based third party studio Ilphonic. Initially, the module was set to include features like teams starting within a ship and needing to fly to a space station to begin their engagements and much marina based gameplay including the disabling of gravity during matches. However, close to being finished. CIG found that the assets that were built for the module weren't at the same scale as those built for the restart the game. 75. By August. 2015. The contract was terminated and development of Star Marine returned to an in-house team at Cloud Imperium Games. 76. The issues plaguing Star Marine's development caused significant delays, pushing the release beyond the originally expected 2015 release date. Just prior to the module being built from Ilphonic, Outlets began reporting that the module was delayed indefinitely or cancelled. 77, 78. During development in 2015, a game type called Sata 4 was announced, an in-game sport where replayers players would be split up into two teams and would fight each other in a zero-gravity environment. It has yet to be implemented in the game. 79. The module was released on the 23rd of December, 2016, a year after its original projected release date. 17. Persistent Universe. While the previous modules were primarily focused on a single aspect of gameplay, the release of Star Citizen's Alpha 2.0 version, initially known as Crusader, was a combination of gameplay elements found in earlier modules. Its initial release was on the 11th of December, 2015, a year after the Star Citizen Project was originally planned for completion. 20, later retitled as Universe, the module became the primary focus of development on Star Citizen, with future updates focused on implementing content to this mode. Star Citizen's Alpha 3.0, considered to be a major milestone was announced for a December 2016 release at Gamescom 2016. 29, 80, two months later, in October 2016 at the annual CitizenCon event, Cloud Imperium. Games claimed that Alpha 3.0 would be split into four smaller releases. 81, when December arrived. Cloud Imperium Games made a surprise announcement that they would be migrating Star Citizen to the Amazon Lumberyard engine. 82, 83, Alpha 3.0 wouldn't release until December 2017, and following its release the developers implemented a public roadmap that would show features and content that was in development for the future. 84, 85, as development continued. Cloud Imperium Games began releasing more features in incremental versions that built on Alpha 3.0.
Early updates focused on implementing initial gameplay mechanics specific to the Persistent Universe module and efforts to stabilize the fairly playable Alpha 3.0 update. 86, 87, phase over IP technology was implemented in Alpha 3.3, which was built in partnership with Faceware Technologies. 88, 89, Feature additions continued through 2019 as Cloud Imperium Games adopted a quarterly schedule for providing updates to the module, though concerns over its lengthy development continued. 23, 90, 28. During the development of Star Citizen's Alpha 3.8 update, the developers discussed their implementation of a technology known as Object Container Streaming. Due to the scale of the game, challenges arose during the project would run into memory limitations on both the client and the server side of the persistent universe. While they had released a client-side version of object container streaming in December 2018, a server-side version had been in development to alleviate those limitations even further. The developers noted that a server-side implementation would alleviate existing limitations with the project and said that, if completed, it would be one of the biggest technological milestones this game has seen to date. 91. With the release of Alpha 3.18 update, the game experienced major outages. 92. Delays and extended development. During the 2012 crowdfunding campaign, Chris Roberts suggested that the game might be released in 2014. At the time, Roberts said that really, it's all about constant iteration from launch. The whole idea is to be constantly updating. It isn't like the old days where you had to have everything and the kitchen sink in at launch because you weren't going to come back to it for a while. We're already one year in another toy as puts us at three total which is ideal. Any more and things would begin to get stale. 57. As development progressed, key features were continually pushed from their projected release dates. The Marina Commander module, originally scheduled for December 2013, was delayed six months <coughs> to its initial June 2014 release. 93. Star Marine, originally scheduled for a 2015 release, was delayed until December 2016. 74. 17. An update to the game's Persistent Universe module, Alpha 3.0 was delayed from December 2016 to December 2017. 2985. Since Alpha 3.0's release, no official release dates have been set for Star Citizen, though its Alpha component continues to receive updates. 94, 95, Squadron. 42. The now standalone single player component of the game was initially scheduled for the project's initial 2014 release, but suffered from delays as well. After it missed the 2014 release window, our last window in 2016 was suggested before the project was delayed indefinitely. 96, 97, in 2018. Cloud Imperium Games announced a plan to enter the beta stage of Squadron 42's development before the end of first quarter of 2020, but that date was later pushed back to the end of the second quarter of 2020. 98, 39, the beta was later pushed back again to the third quarter of 2020, which passed with no news until on 10 October Chris Roberts stated, that we still have a ways to go before we are in beta. 99. As the project continued to delay key features and miss projected deadlines, the media began to suggest that game may become vaporware and might never be released. 100. Many of these delays were blamed on micromanagement of the project by key members of Cloud Imperium Games, and criticisms of feature creep plagued the project. 101. Comparisons were made between Star Citizen and Elite, Dangerous another crowdfunded space flight. 
simulation game announced at about the same time and released in 2014. 102. Funding. Crowdfunding. The developers of Star Citizen began crowdfunding in 2012 on their own website and Kickstarter. 3. 103. Funding quickly surpassed initial target goals and subsequently additional stretch goals have been added to funding campaign. Most promising more or expanded content at release. 104, 105, 106. At initial pledge campaign end, the total pledge amount was above all goals initially set by.